Uh, hello, I'm Chang Seok Lee from Gimeng University in Daegu, South Korea. Uh, thank you very much for giving me a chance to present my research materials in Materials Science, Engineering and Technology webinar. It is my great pleasure. Uh, let me uh, start with, uh, my presentation. Uh, the title of my pre presentation is Synthesis, Dispersion and Tribological Characteristics of alkyl functionalized graphene oxide as an oil lubricant additive and interaction with inorganic fluorine like tungsten disulfide. Uh, the order of contents that I'm going to present is as follows introduction, experimental, resultant discussion, and finally, I will make a conclusion. First, let me talk about the introduction of my research. Friction and wear uh, are very frequent phenomena in our daily life. Friction and wear. Uh, produce energy waste, material loss, and shorter lifespan of machines. So we need a lubrication in order to reduce friction and wear in operating machinery. Uh, by the report, uh, one third of the automobile fuel energy is used to overcome the friction uh, during driving. Uh, as you can see in this figure, the old Egyptians also sprayed lubricating oil in the moving route of the huge statue. This explains a whole history of, of lubrication and a human history. Uh, so the three keywords, friction, wear, lubrication, uh, are the three kinds of element in tribology. Uh, tribology is first used in the research paper of Peter Jost in 1966. Uh, it is originated from Greek letter tribus, which means rob, and uh, logi, which means study. Uh, tribology is the science and the engineering of interacting surfaces in re uh, relative motion. It includes the study and application of friction, lubrication, and wear. Uh, so tribology is an interdisciplinary study among chemistry, physics, materials engineering, and mechanical engineering. Uh, lubricant consists of 95 of base oil, which is actually acting in uh, lubrication, and 5% of additives, which enhance the function of base oil. Uh, even though uh, the small amount of additives is added, it influences a lot to the function of lubricants. Uh, in the past, uh, layer structured materials such as WS2, MOS2, hexagonal boronitride, uh, graphite, uh, have been used as solid lubricants. But uh, these inorganic materials do not show a good dispersibility in organic liquid lubricants. For that reason, a very sim single layered 2D material, graphene, which is discovered in 2004, has been attracted in the field of lubrication. Uh, let me talk about graphene a little bit. Graphene is a combination word of graphite and ENE, which means double bonds in uh, covalent molecules. Uh, graphene uh, is a material which shows characteristics of strong mechanical strengths, high thermal conductivity, and thermal properties. Uh, let me talk about graphene oxide a little bit more. The sh shape of graphene oxide has two, uh, has large number of oxygen functional groups attached on graphene sheets, so it is difficult to apply in hydrophobic organic solvents. In order to solve this dispersion problem, many attempts have been made to transform graphene into covalent bonds or non-covalent bonds. Uh, func functionalization of uh, geo. Uh, this is the reason why, uh, why we use uh, functionalization of graphene oxide. Uh, in this study, we functionalized the geo with the various alkyl chlorides uh, by the next two step reactions. The starting materials are geo and ethylene diamine. The first step is amide bond formation between carboxyl group and uh, amine group of ethylene diamine. The second step is nucleophilic substitution, substitution reaction of alkyl chloride to aminated graphene oxide. Um, this figure shows the structure of tungsten disulfide and inorganic fluorine like tungsten disulfide. Uh, tungsten disulfide has two dimensional layer structure consisting of tungsten and sulfur. Uh, this material shows excellent anti oxidation, uh, pressure resistivity, low friction coefficient of uh, 0.03. Uh, 
This material is also applicable to 270 to 60, 650 degrees at atmospheric pressure. Uh, IF WS2 has a shape of 2D WS2 sheet piled up like an iron. When this is mixed uh, F with SFGO, it acts as a ball bearing between graphene sheets. Gelator MOB was also added for dispersion stability. Uh, this is an experimental part. Uh, in order to synthesize functionalized graphene oxide, we have used graphene oxide solution, ethylene diamine, and six kinds of alkyl chlorides. We have also used octadiceramine, toluene 2 for diisocyanate, toluene, and chlorobenzene. We also employed, employed PaO4 base oil and IFWS2 solution. Uh, the first step of functionalization of graphene oxide is the preparation of aminized uh, graphene oxide. Uh, GO and ethylene diamine are mixed together and reflux at 75 degrees for 24 hours. Then the product was filtered by PTFA filter with uh, two microns of pore size. Uh, these products were dried at 60 degrees for 24 hours to get aminized graphene oxide. Uh, the second step is the alkylation of aminized functional uh, graphene oxide. Aminized graphene oxide is mixed with six kinds of alkyl chlorides, which are butyl chloride, alkyl chloride, tetraethyl chloride, etc. These mixtures are refluxed at 80 degrees for 24 hours and filtered by PTFE with two microns of pore size, and then dried at, at 60 degrees for 24 hours. Finally, we have obtained FGO4, FGO6, FGO8, FGO10, FGO12, and FGO14 as products. Uh, this is a dispersion stability test. Functionalized graphene oxide with different size of alkyl chain are dispersed in base oil. Uh, PaO4 uh, is used as a base oil. Uh, the concentration of IFWS2 in base oil uh, are varied to 0.1 weight percent, 1 weight percent, and 2 weight percent. We have also applied FGO with 0.1 uh, percent weight percent uh, and 1 weight percent of MOB. Uh, we have also, uh, we, these mixtures are then ultrasonicated for an hour and left for 30 days. Then we carried out tribological tests with the high frequency friction wear tester. Each of FGO dispersed PAO oil was applied in between steel ball and steel disc with reciprocating ball and disc mode. 10 hertz of reciprocation frequency was applied with 50 Newton of load for 360 seconds. We have also performed four ball tests uh, like this. Uh, these are the analysis techniques that we have used in characterizing samples. FTIR is used to identify the functional groups of FCOs. XPS is uh, also used to analyze the binding energies of elements of sample. Uh, X-ray diffraction and Raman spectroscopy are used to analyze the crystal structure of the samples. Uh, uh, SAM and TAM are used to analyze the morphology and the microstructure of the samples. Uh, the tribological characteristics are investigated by high friction wear tester. Uh, let me talk about results and discussion. Uh, this is a series of uh, images which is taken for uh, GO and FGO samples. GO shows, GO shows a flat surface with smooth surface. FGO shows the crumbled sheets with some folded area due to the introduction of alkyl chains. It showed more crumbled and rougher surface of FGO with longer alkyl chains. Uh, uh, this is the same elemental mapping images and EDS results of GO and FGO 14 samples. As you can see in these images, we observed carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen in the aminized graphene oxide. 
uh, this is the same images taken for the sample of FGO4, FGO14, and inorganic fluorine like uh, tungsten disulfide. Uh, we can see a piled up layer structures of uh, IFWS2, like an onion. Uh, the, uh, this is a series of FTL spectra taken for the GO, FGO, and aminized graphene oxide. As, as you can see in this spectrum for GO, absorption peaks of hydroxyl uh, appeared in the range of 32, 44, 2, 37, 2, 77. And absorption peaks of carboxyl group is appeared at 17, 25 wave numbers. We can also see absorption peaks of epoxide groups in the range of 10, 42, 2, 11, 13. Uh, in the FGO sample, uh, methyl groups are uh, appeared at 760 wave numbers and 28, 31, 2, 29, 2, 78 uh, wave numbers. And the characteristic peaks of amine group is appeared at 15, 81 wave numbers. Uh, since uh, peak intensities of hydroxyl, carboxyl, and epoxide groups in GO are decreased, and peak intensities of amine group in FGOs it is increased. So we can uh, assume that amine group is successfully introduced to two geo sheets. Uh, this is a series of XPS spectra which is taken for geo and FGO samples. In this survey spectra for eight samples, uh, oxygen 1s peak is appeared at 532 electron volt, and the carbon 1s peak is appeared at 287 electron volt uh, in geo sample. But intensities, intensities of these peaks are much decreased in FGO samples. And also, one NS and one S peak, which has, been, has not been appeared in GEO, is appeared at 399 electron volt. Therefore, we can assume, uh, we can know amine group is successfully attached to the GEO sheets. These spectra results are also confirmed uh, in the following. Of uh, hyperfine spectra B, C, D, E, and F. These are the series of XRD patterns taken for GO and FGO samples. You can see the characteristic peaks uh, at two set of values from uh, 23.2 to 23.8 for FGO samples. These two, uh, these two set of values get close to the deflation peak of graphite. Uh, this means this older graphene nanosheets are rearranged due, due to the reduction of the oxygen functional groups. Uh, as you can see in this table, uh, these spacing values are increased in the order of graphite, graphene oxide, and functionalized graphene oxide due to the oxygen group of graphene oxide and alkyl change, changes, change chains attached to the FGO samples. Uh, this is a test result for dispersion stability. After sonication to the mixed system for, for an hour, uh, FGO samples are all dispersed, even though the GO was not dispersed uh, due to its hydrophobic pro uh, property. But after 30 days storage, only FGO14 show, uh, showed a very stable dispersion status. This is due to the introduction of lipophilicity to GO. Uh, this is also due to the uh, high specific surface area of FGOs like crumbled paper. It reveals uh, the van der Waals interaction between the tetradacial change, uh, uh, change of the FGO14 and the alkyl chain of PA oil gives a long-term dispersion stability. Now, this is the tribological test result for PAO and FGO samples. Compared to the uh, compared to the uh, uh, friction coefficient of PAO base oil, the friction coefficients of uh, four samples, uh, four samples uh, were decreased. Uh, this sample, this sample uh, shows the best result to be decreased by 13.06% in FGO samples compared to PAO base oil only. Uh, the reason why uh, FGO14 shows 
showed us superior tri tribological characteristics is based on the dispersion stability due to alkyl functionalized geo and synergistic effect with tungsten disulfide. Uh, this is a wear track test result for PAO and FGO samples. As you can see in this wear track pattern, compared to the wear track data tested to the PAO only. The test result for FGO samples with tungsten disulfide additive showed this de uh, decreased value in wear track, uh, wear track. As a result, uh, PAO4 with 1 point uh, IFWS2 and 0.1% FGO6 and 1% uh, 1 MOB show the best performance in reducing wear track by 21.18%. Uh, figure 15 shows the same image of lubricant sample after finished the friction test. In this figure, you can see the same image displays IFWS2 inside and the FCO sheet is wrapped around IFWS2. This result indicates that uh, IFWS2 acts as a ball bearing uh, between FGO sheets. Figure uh, 16 shows the lubrication mechanism of FGO, IFWS2 and MOB. Uh, this figure suggests that the wear track in the contact surface was filled with uh, IFWS2 and, uh, and uh, IFWS2 was introduced between FGO sheets, thereby serving as a ball bearing, uh, resulting in lubrication. In addition, gelator MOB fixed the additives of FGO and IFWS2 to prevent agglomeration and sedimentation and maintain dispersion of these additives. Now, let me make a conclusion for the seminar. Uh, we have prepared alkyl functionalized graphene oxide nanosheets for oil based lubricant additives by using six types of alkyl chlorides. Uh, IFWS2 and gelator. Uh, FTIR and XPS spectra show a decrease in the oxygen functional group of the GO and the appearance of C and bonds reveals the successful introduction of long alkyl chains to GO. Uh, XRD and Brahman spectra show the wider uh, interlayer spacing and the formation of amorphous carbon of disordered SP2 in FGOs. By the dispersion stability test, uh, the FGO14 showed a very stable dispersion stability during 30 days due to the introduction of lipophilicity to the graphene oxide in PAO4 oil. The van der Waals interaction between the tetradecyl chain of FGO14 and the alkyl chain of the lubricant have provided long-term stable dispersion in the lubricate, lubricant oil. Uh, Tribological tests revealed PAO4 with 0.1% FGO6 and 1% IFWS2 and 1% MOB system showed the best performance. This material reduced the friction coefficient by 13.06%. Uh, this material uh, also reduced the width of wear track by 20.18%. <clears throat> Therefore, we observed the alkyl chain in uh, FGOs directly influenced to the dispersion stability and tribological characteristics of PAO oils. And so, uh, finally, uh, we observed additional uh, IFWS to act as a ball bearing between FGOs and show the synergistic effect and tribological uh, effect in tribological functions. Uh, I will finish the seminar. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you.